In this video, I am going to talk about fastest growing CRM out there, Go High Level. A lot of agencies and B2B teams just fail to use it. The most common reason for that is it's simply a CRM and a CRM is useless without leads. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can get leads from LinkedIn, put them into Go High Level and make sure you make a lot of money and get a lot of clients just from that LinkedIn outreach channel. So let's take a step back and think about what's happening right now in the industry. So if you look at a typical Go High Level user, they're using it, you know, for a marketing agency, you know, just for their B2B sales team or with a couple of clients or just to manage their pipeline internally, right? It's just a pipeline management tool with a lot of added functionality, but that's what it is at its core. Now, any CRM is useless without leads, right? If you don't have leads there, it's not good enough, right? You can't do anything with it. Now, the problem problem with lead generation today is that it's become too expensive. Facebook ads are, have become too expensive. Google ads too expensive, you know, organic reach is down. So you're not going to get a lot of leads just by organically posting something even on LinkedIn or any other social platform out there. So the most effective way to get leads today is through cold outreach. And if you're in B2B, right, if you're not selling something like, you know, whatever, like supplements or something, which a lot of go high level clients are, if you're in B2B and you have a real, you know, service or a real offer that sells for at least $5,000, then you need to be on LinkedIn. The reason for that is simple, right? LinkedIn right now is where Facebook used to be in 2012. So it's a rising platform. It's got real professionals, you know, you can see their job title, you can see their work experience, you can see that they're, they're the real deal, right? They're the decision makers and they have all the money in the world to spend on your high ticket offer, right? Be it like a marketing service, right? Or a website builder or whatever it may be. These people have money. So the goal is to see how you can, you know, reach out to these people on LinkedIn, you know, get into a conversation with them, book a call with them and automatically push all of them into Go High Level. And we're going to do it through a tool called Sales Robot. So let's get right into it. Go High Level is very popular, right? Like we can see that it's got 60,000 plus customers, quite a few leads generated, about 1.4 million plus businesses use it. So it's a popular tool, but again, a CRM is useless without leads. So let's get some leads into it. Perfect. So even before we begin, we have to create something called a sales robot campaign, right? Because if you don't have a outreach campaign happening on sales robot, you're not going to get enough leads. So the first thing we're going to look for is our ideal customer. So let's take a real example. So let's say we're here on LinkedIn and we're looking for our dream customers. Let's say I run a marketing agency and I want to, you know, get some clients in tech, right? So what I can do is I can just go to LinkedIn search, right? Right here. I'll just search for some people. So I'll go to search slash results slash people. And then I'll search for the right decision maker for my particular marketing service, right? So let's say I help with, you know, search engine optimization like SEO. So I'll just go to all filters. I'll search for, you know, CMO, right? I'll search for um, tech, right? That's the industry I want to focus on. And I'll search for, let's say, only California, right? Let's say I only want to target Bay Area companies. Perfect. So I get a lot of uh, people here, like it's a targeted list of 210 people. All of these can be good leads for me, right? So I want to enroll all of them into a direct outreach sequence via sales robot. So I just want to send everybody a connection request automatically and then wait for them to accept it and then send them some messages, right? So that once they actually do connect with me or they reply to me, they just going to go high level as a lead, right? So let's do that. So we copy this, we go over to sales robot, we create something called a campaign. Now, there are two ways to create a campaign. You can just use our AI campaign builder or, you know, if you're experienced with building a sequential workflow, just click the advanced user campaign. Let's say, you know, this is going to be like CMOs and we're targeting tech and California, right? This is what we're doing. Hit save, add from LinkedIn search. We just paste this LinkedIn search URL here, hit save and then configure settings and then save and continue. And then this is where we build out a sequence, right? So let's build one. Let's build one from scratch. So we say send a connection request first. We say something like, hi, first name, you know, uh, something like something very simple. Look forward to connecting. This seems to work well. So we just use this, right? Because it puts them in the right frame of mind, like they want to connect with you and all of that. So that's one. Now, add step after, you want to send them messages, right? So if you're in SEO, uh, you probably want to say something like, hi, first name, I was, you know, just on your website and noticed that you don't have your blog's SEO optimized yet. 
mind if I send you a free guide? On how to optimize blogs in uh, 2024, something like that, right? So you're basically giving them a freebie and trying to start a conversation there. So let's say you want to send it an hour after and then send a follow up if they don't reply, right? Hi, first name, you know, still open to getting that guide, something like that. Perfect. So you hit done, you hit save and you hit start campaign. That's it, right? So once you do that, um, this campaign will be up and running. Basically what happens is once they reply, once any of them replies to any of these uh, messages that I have, I want them to go into my Go High Level account, right? So that's where I set up something called an integration, right? So I'll just go to integrations, go to webhook, click on, you know, add webhook. And here I'll just click on, uh, I'll just name an integration, high level, um, call back URL. So now I need Zapier in the middle. So what I'll do is I'll go to Zapier. Um, this is the Zap setup, right? So I'll catch a hook. And then as soon as the hook is caught, I'll add or update a contact inside of Go High Level. So I'll go to, you know, catch hook, trigger, test. So this is the URL. I'll just copy it and paste it here, right? Right here. From the drop down, I'll basically pick when a contact replies because as soon as there's any reply, I want them to go into go high level, right? And just click on create campaign. Now, after I just hit test, this will send some dummy data into my Zapier and then Zapier will create a contact or update it in go high level. So what I've done here is that, yeah, this is the request that's sent. I'll click on continue with selected record. You know, I'll click on add update contact. I'll add the this event and then I'll you know, add my go high level account here, right? So the way to do it is basically, um, you know, put it um, here, right? You just need to get your API key. I'll, I'll have a detailed tutorial on how to do that in the description below. But basically you can, you know, connect an account and they will ask you to put in an API key. You can just go into locations and go high level and get it. So I just created a sub account for this particular, you know, dummy um, account. I just went to settings, um, business profile, and then, you know, created an API key for myself right here, right? And copied it and gave it to Zapier. So once I gave it to Zapier, you know, it just goes here. Um, perfect. I'll just click on actions and then I just map everything, right? So I map the first name to the first name from uh, the Zap and then last name here, F phone number, you know, from we just scrape it from LinkedIn if they have their phone in there. So that's their email, you know, we get it from LinkedIn if it's in there or we also find it right if it's, you know, in our database. So either way, we just get their email ID or phone number. Let's say we update the city from LinkedIn and we update, you know, the state as well from LinkedIn. And that's it, right? Um, we mark the source as sales robot so that you know where the lead came from. And perfect, right? Uh, mark the lead as yeah so you, you can just ignore that that's it right um, there's a bunch of extra fields here because I just selected like an auto dealership just for the purposes of this uh, you know uh, yeah mark as lead true that's it I'll click continue and hit test so what will happen is it just ends up creating a lead right inside of my go high level so this is what it looks like I can see all the details here when it was created you know um, I can see all the details, mask at tesla.co, Sherlock Holmes, and all that. So this is dummy data, but very soon you start getting leads from LinkedIn. I'll tell you the most powerful part of this whole workflow. Once you add a contact to go high level, you can do a lot of things, right? You can basically enroll them into a, an SMS campaign or a WhatsApp campaign or start sending them emails, right? Uh, one of the best workflows that you can do with this is that as soon as they accept your new connection on LinkedIn, so rather than having a reply, maybe you want to do it only at the connection level. As soon as they become your connection, you can just reach out to them by text and say something like, hey, uh, we just connected on LinkedIn. If you need help with any help with marketing, let me know. Or maybe you send them a WhatsApp or an email. So that becomes extremely powerful because you're able to take somebody from a random LinkedIn connection into a WhatsApp conversation or to an email. All right. So, I mean, uh, it's a pretty simple setup, but it's really powerful. Once you do that, you'll start getting your 
go high level uh, instance filled with leads as quickly as possible with some agency customers right now which is building out these automations and selling it to clients right white labeling it and making over you know 10k a month with it sales support plus high level both white labeled and if there's anything you need from me make sure you reach out to me and make sure you hit that subscribe button on this channel we have more such tutorials coming out all right take care now bye bye